So come to work, and it was just shortly after that that we had found out that there was a um, an incident. No stories, no nothing, just that there was an incident with an aircraft. Um, and it wasn't until the evening that, you know, everybody found out that there was some people yes. that didn't survive. Being in a, in a plane incident, I guess, myself in 21, mm -hmm. the plane I was in was leaving Yellowknife and I was living back home at the time in Fort Simpson. So I was on the flight on the way home. Um, it's about an hour and a half flight and we ran out of fuel. The plane went down just outside of um, Port Providence. But in my chest right now it's kind of, yeah. There was points throughout yesterday that kind of just triggered that trauma. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful to be alive. However, I'm just thinking, I'm not thinking about myself, I'm just thinking of the, the people that didn't make, make it out of the, um, the plane incident on Tuesday. So, you know, and their loved ones. It's a way of life to get from community to community because some communities in the region that I'm from, there's um, communities that don't have roads. So you have to fly in there with smaller planes. The day that it um, that it happened, like we still had our regular customers. It was just a really somber feeling, and you know, because usually our customers are joking around, or you know, they're. It was just a really somber feeling throughout the whole day.